Hey guys, Zoid here, back with another review. Today we are looking at Hero Factory Thorn Racks. Yes. The one that was delayed. The one that was delayed. Now, um, he is ages 6 to 12, set number 6228, 44 pieces. Bezels on um, whatever that is. Thorn rack, sir. Two hundred game points. I don't care. Then he's got Breeze chasing him. This is definitely a he because he's too bulky. I don't care. <laughs> Unless the bio says otherwise, but I haven't invested the time to do that. Exercise the head. Oh uh, yeah, these are the old ones, so the buildable action figure thingy was probably in the thing I cut. And, uh, he has a shooty ball thingy. And that's all he does, really. <laughs> I don't see anything else. Besides the fact that you put the thing together. <laughs> and then it shows the game. And crap. I don't care about the game. I just buy the toys because they're freaking awesome. Hero, now the instructions. It says Hero Factory at the top. It looks like he has double wings for some reason. Which he does not. So don't fall for it. There's Breeze in the back. A little bit different of a picture than the front of the bag. This Breeze is down there, and now she's up there. So she's moving all over the place. And choking hazard. No, I thought this thing came constructed. Uh, this thing is 20 pages of building, it stops on page 23, but it has 20 because you minus 3 pages in the front. And, peace count. Breeze versus Thorn Rex. And the, uh, combi model, which I did not show off well. Hit there. Looks like crap. And then the psychotic kid. Alright, let's open this and see what's inside. Now this one actually opened right up. I said this one opened right up. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. There's a few technic odds and ends in here, so I'm gonna have to move this up a little bit. And that's what I mean by technic odds and ends. <laughs> One just flew off. To where? I don't know. If we happen to lose that piece, I will probably wind up finding it and stepping on it and breaking my foot. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and the core. Alrighty. Let's check here. I will find that piece. It is the last thing I do, and it probably is. I'll probably spend 15 minutes looking for it, and it's gonna be right around here. I think it was one of those stupid axle things. So, that's a bummer. We have probably two or three of those. I think we have two. <laughs> Maybe we only got one of them. Maybe I have to go in the bin and look for another one. You don't know what the bin is. You do not want to know what the bin is. Let's just say it's a graveyard. I think both, I think the other one fell off too. That's nice, I should've just left those out then. There's the Zamber Spirit, yeah, I think the other one fell off too, that's... great. Eh. Well... I will probably find those after I go through the important pieces. Yeah, I don't see that other one anywhere. That's bogus. Crap. 
Should have left the one in his head. Just doing a quick little look around. I'm putting some parts off to the side because they're big and they're getting in the way. Yep, I don't see it anywhere. That's bogus. I think one of them might have went in the back here. Nope, didn't even go in the back. Just completely fell and went in the middle of nowhere. Hmm. That is great. <laughs> but on uh, new pieces, let's get on with those. Here they are. There's some wings. These are Gorast wings. Some orange tubes. We've seen those. And other parts. We got these three here. These are the uh, Savage Planet claw things. And uh, the blaster parts, which are actually his... Uh, I don't know if you call them jaws or not. Probably not. Then you got a Technic bar thingy. Beam. That's it. Two of these odd balls. Odd uh, balls. And then balls on them. That sounds good. Two orange spikes. You get an extra one, I believe. And you get two of these. Pretty sure there's only two. Yeah, I think there is. Um, you get quite a few of these little light blue suckers. Okay, no, you don't. You only get two of these. <laughs> you get two of these in light blue. It's all spark blue. This thing clearly has been drinking some energy on. Two more right there. Or for them. For the cups in blue. One in black. Then you get some of these in black. There you go. Two of those in black. Two of these things in black. These are pretty cool. Corrupted Quasi Spike. Three of these in the gray color. Three of these in black. One of these in orange. Wasn't there a little one in orange too? Oh yeah, there it is. Oh, and I found another peg. Cool. That's always nice. One of these in orange. I'd still like to know where that other one flew off to. Probably under my weight. Oh! Found it! And I killed somebody. There it is. Alright. We've unearthed all the missing parts. Now we can complete the set and I don't have to consult the bucket. Well, the bin anyway. And then you get the head. I left the eyes in there because I knew I would have lost those too. Because I lose everything. <laughs> Prime example, two minutes ago. But, um, there it is. It's the Arachnix drone head in the black, which I have that right off to the side here. See? But, uh, enough about that. I am knocking everybody down today. <laughs> and then the core. Whether this is the right one or not, I don't know and I don't care. All I know is that I'm giving you the code. There it is. Pretty crappy angle. I know. Let's try it the other way. There you go. But, that is it for the parts. Not too many new things, except a few recolors here and there. But, halfway decent selection. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And, uh, stay tuned for the build and my final thoughts. And I will see you all later.